Thank you for joining us here on the News at 4. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. And I'm Doug Petcash. This afternoon, a tragic end to the search for five men inside a missing sub in the North Atlantic. The Coast Guard confirming that a remotely operated vehicle discovered debris field on the floor of the ocean in an area where the vessel made its descent toward the wreckage of the Titanic evidence of what they're calling a catastrophic implosion. The Coast Guard has been the lead agency in an unprecedented rescue mission that now shifts to recovery. Their commanders, their command center is in Boston and there's that's where NBC's Jay Gray is with the latest. Scanning the ocean floor, a remotely operated vehicle captures images of debris less than a half mile from the bow of the Titanic. We found uh, five different major pieces of, of debris that uh, told us that it was the uh, remains of the Titan. Analysts identifying the tail cone and sections of the pressure chamber, essentially the sitting area for those on board. The debris is consistent with a catastrophic uh, implosion of uh, the vessel. And so uh, we'll continue to uh, work and continue to uh, search uh, the area uh, down there. Trying to understand how, why, and when it happened. OceanGate, the company that operates the sub, acknowledging the tragic discovery in a written statement, calling the five men that were a part of the expedition, British businessman Shahazda Daywood and his son Suleiman, French diver Paul-Henri Narjolet, billionaire adventurer Hamish Harding, and the pilot, OceanGate founder and CEO Stockton Rush, quote, true explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure and deep passion for exploring. Going on to say, we grieve the loss of life and joy they brought to everyone they knew. The Coast Guard reaching out to their families. I can only imagine what this has been like for them. And I hope that this discovery provides some solace during this difficult time. It's early in what's now a recovery mission. The aircraft and ships that have been a part of the search expected to clear the area while the underwater assets will continue to search for evidence along the ocean's floor. Jay Gray, NBC News, Boston. There's no indication of how long that mission will continue or if teams will try to retrieve any of the pieces of that sub. And just this afternoon, KTVB learned an Idaho attorney says he was supposed to be on that submersible that went missing. David Concannon from Sun Valley has several Facebook posts about the search. His first was posted three days ago and it read in part, I was supposed to be on this expedition and indeed on this dive, but I had to cancel to attend to another urgent client matter. He goes on to say I was called and asked to provide whatever assistance I could to ensure the safe return of everyone in the sub. He since posted several updates on his social media page. His last post was from yesterday afternoon when he said they were remaining hopeful for a safe return of friends and loved ones. Today, as we just reported, the U.S. Coast Guard has said those crew members have been lost. And I reached out to Cocannon's law firm. They tell me he is not taking any calls on the matter. Certainly understandable in this time of grief for them.